Hi, welcome to Knowledge Base. In this video, I'll explain how to build an autonomous robotic arm. This was my first project in robotics. And when I started with building this uh, robotic arm, I had no idea of how to use kinematics and uh, how to do all the calculations and uh, uh, finding the uh, proper angles for uh, robotic arm so has so that it will drive towards uh, the object and grab it so here is my video for all the beginners of robotics the simplest form of building an autonomous robotic arm the goal of this robotic arm is basically if you place an object in the work area you have to take the snapshot of the work area and do image processing on that and find out the xy location of the coordinate of the object and then based on this uh, location that is xy coordinate you have to find all the other uh, parameters like the distance from the robotic arm to the object and all the angles uh, the servo motor has to rotate so that the uh, actuator or uh, the gripper picks the object so this is the goal to achieve this there are two major conditions that is the first one is the links of this robotic arm has to be equal. So the link A is equal to link B. The second is the camera which is looking at the work area. It has to be perpendicular to the work area and it has to be at the center of the um, work area. Okay. So these two are the constraints. And when you set this camera, when you set up this camera on the work area, you have to make sure uh, this forms the frame which you had taken it forms a rectangle okay so when you draw lines fr inside the frame okay so let's uh, i'm showing these lines itself here okay when you draw the line around the uh, around the edges of the frame it has to form a perfect rectangle a little bit of errors is tolerable but the may uh, but you have to make sure uh, uh, you get a, a, a almost a almost a rectangle okay almost perfect rectangle okay so these two constraints if you solve it uh, then all these calculations will be very easy and it uh, i'm just using a geometrical uh, equations to solve the uh, problem in this video i'm not explaining how servo motor works and uh, how how do you build this robotic arm and all uh, because there are a lot of other videos and my future videos will cover all those things but i wanted to make this uh, video initially so that everyone uh, uh, irrespective of what uh, mo microcontroller they are use using and uh, <coughs> uh, irrespective of what platform they are using uh, they could use this formulas and uh, get uh, get their robotic arm working so that is the main idea of this video so let's start with uh, calculations. You have to find the ratio, ratio of pixels to the actual length. Okay. So if this is, ac uh, assume this is 30 centimeters, okay, from this edge to this edge, uh, if this is 30 centimeter, you have to find what is the ratio. That means the image what you are capturing, if it is uh, at the resolution of uh, 640 by 480, okay so you had you had to divide 640 divided by 30 okay so that is what that will give you pixels per inch so per inch of world coordinates what is the pixels uh, in in the virtual coordinate system that means in the system okay so you will find the ratio and keep it aside okay so now you have to capture this frame Okay, assume this is your workspace, you have to capture this frame and f uh, you have to pass this image. Either you can use any API like uh, OpenCV APIs to directly find what is the XY coordinate of the object or if you pass each and every pixel, okay, uh, that is actually um, uh, that is actually a brute force method where you just go through each and every pixel and find what is the intensity difference and all. Uh, probably you had to convert the image to black and white and then solve those uh, things. I mean like find the intensity difference and all. Uh, the easiest way is you use a, a white background and a dark objects. And then uh, uh, when you are parsing this image, 
when you parse this image find the uh, i mean like you had to convert the image to black and white or monochrome and find a pixel a intensity difference that is one method or you can directly use some of the apis like process or uh, uh, open cv and uh, find what is the coordinate of the object so now we have got x y coordinate of the object in terms of pixels okay so this is 640 by 480 uh, image and you will get x x and y in terms of pixels you had to remember that okay now you had to find the distance from the origin of your uh, workspace and yeah one more constraint is you had to keep the robotic arm towards your uh, left okay left bottom of your workspace okay so you, uh, what happens is like uh, when you uh, place a robotic arm it will have uh, it would have uh, consumed like the platform would have consumed some amount of uh, uh, space so you can't directly place on at this origin so what happens you will place somewhere here okay uh, uh, you can just uh, place at a distance of delta y okay so this entire area would would have occupied by robotic arm so all all your calculations are the zeroth position of your uh, manipulator will be at this point okay uh, so when you build your robotic arm and when you are placing you will come to know all these constraints and uh, you will calibrate all these things but i am showing both the methods like uh, how do you, uh, what is the calibration thing and what is actually distance bit uh, from the origin to object okay now from this point if you drop a a uh, vertical line you will see this has formed a right angle triangle right so uh, you had to find h h is the distance from uh, origin to xy so h is actually square root of x square plus y square so that is pythagoras theorem h is equal to square root of x square by y square let, let me zoom this okay so now uh, for h you have solved the distance in case if your robotic arm center center of the robotic arm is at this position that is uh, at a distance of delta y then you had to find h dash that is the distance from this point to this point so h dash is basically uh, square root of x square okay this is x square plus y dash square so the distance from this point to x y is y dash so y dash is basically equal to y plus delta y the distance from this point to uh, here the center of the robot so you will know what is h dash okay you also know what is the um, distance the robotic arm um, has to travel okay from the center to x y okay now there is one more thing the, if you are placing this uh, robotic arm somewhere here okay and it is facing towards the zero okay zero degree you have to rotate this uh, arm so that it it is it faces the object x y okay so it has to face the object then only it can extend its uh, arm to pick this object right so you had to rotate from its initial position to towards the object so that is actually represented by theta dash okay in case if it is wa it was at the origin then it was only theta mm, okay i'm um, okay now it is focused okay so now you have to find theta dash or theta depending on where your uh, bot is placed so i'm assuming uh, obviously when you build a robotic arm it will it will have a platform and it will consume some uh, amount of in a, i mean a space so i'm assuming a robotic center of the robotic arm is here so i'm calculating theta dash theta dash how do you solve it is very simple this is a right angle triangle and you you can use cos uh, cosine law okay cos theta dash is equal to adjacent that is x divided by hypotenuse that is h dash and theta dash is equal to cos inverse of x divided by h dash now you know theta dash so now you know how much the robotic arm has to rotate the base okay has to rotate so that it faces the object now i have to travel from uh, this point to x y point so 
just a second i'll use this divider as a bot okay so you, now you have to f uh, now you know how much it has to rotate and now you have to calculate now you know and also you know how much the distance it has to travel okay so you right now you know two parameters okay so keep that aside now let me zoom out now the condition what i had told is the robotic arm has to the links of the robotic arm has to be equal so and one more thing is uh, the robotic arm whatever we are building it should have only two links you can't have three links or four links like that it has to be two link robotic arm so that is one more thing okay so the length of these two has to be equal okay now at the rest position robotic arm will be like this and when you extend this extend the robotic arm to travel the distance h dash you can see this actually it has tr uh, traveled an angle here and it has traveled some angle here so let me call let me call this angle okay instead of uh, calculating this angle i'm going to calculate this angle first so the servo how much it has to rotate okay from this point to this point okay so let me call this as alpha and this as beta okay so if i represent this robotic arm as a uh, ju uh, just by lines you can see this is uh, l and l that is uh, al i have already told a is equal to b is equal to l okay both are equal so this has formed an isosceles triangle okay so right now i have to calculate this alpha and then beta depending on what this angles are dependent on h dash that is how much it has to travel okay so how much it has to expand okay extend its uh, arms to reach the object okay so that is the idea so let me so how do you calculate uh, this alpha and beta it is very simple what i do is like i'll divide this uh, triangle into half okay so right now forget about this uh, right side uh, triangle so let's concentrate on the left side so alpha is basically uh, or you can say i can use cosine law here okay so this line okay this is actually h dash divided by 2 okay and this is l now l is hypotenuse okay for this triangle l is hypotenuse and for this alpha adjacent side is h dash divided by 2 so alpha is equal to cos inverse of okay let me zoom here alpha is equal to cos inverse of h dash divided by 2 divided by l okay so adjacent divided by hypotenuse so cos inverse of h dash divided by 2 into l so this is the formula which gives you the angle alpha now i have to find beta so if you consider this entire triangle the triangle states like uh, one of the law of triangle is internal angles if you sum if you add all the internal angles you the ang sum is, is equal to 180 so you can find out beta by subtracting this alpha and this alpha see these two are actually opposite to uh, equal sides so these two angles are equal so this is very simple mathematics geometrical equations and uh, Uh, so beta is is equal to 180 minus alpha minus alpha. That means beta is equal to 180 minus 2 into alpha. So right now you know what is the distance it has to cover, how much it has to rotate. That is you know theta, you know alpha, and this is beta. So you apply all these angles to this uh, robotic arm. It will drive. It will go. <coughs> sorry. It will travel the distance of h dash. okay so this is theta okay and uh, basically it is theta dash and uh, this is alpha okay but here robotic arm actually stands like this so then it will starts uh, okay i had to zoom out so the robotic arm will stand like this and then it will extend its links to reach like this so actually if you see it has to travel an angle here okay so you, the servo has to move from this position to this position so you have to calculate how much angle it has to rotate from here to here so how do you use that it is very simple if you see this is the right angle 
this is the right angle so 90 minus alpha will give you this angle how much it has to uh, rotate so to reach that point and of course beta will be re uh, remain same that is it it is actually the angle between this uh, uh, yeah, link a and link b okay. right now uh, right now this will solve the entire thing so but it has there are some issues when you start with your pot and uh, uh, there is a space constraint you had to take care uh, you had to subtract this length also okay so otherwise it will reach x y at this point okay that means your uh, manipulator would have uh, gone beyond this object so those things you had to take care okay so uh, that is it that is the simplest way where uh, you can uh, uh, get your robotic arm working autonomously okay so the calibrations are there so as and when i build my bot i'll explain those uh, calibrations but when you build you will come to know what all things has to be changed so this i had told depending on where you have placed your uh, robotic arm you can calculate those things and uh, this distance you can always adjust okay for example if uh, your uh, robotic arm has uh, already consumed some space so you had to subtract that space from h dash so you will apply that length to here and find out alpha and beta so all these calibrations you can do it is very easy okay so enjoy enjoy building your bot uh, but before going uh, let me give you a small clue on uh, how other uh, uh, bots like other robotic arm calculations are done so this is uh, this is also a simplest way okay let's assume you have three links okay and these links are not equal okay a b and c probably one more is there and uh, these links are not equal even for the bot which has two links a is not equal to b that means these links are not equal then also you can apply this formula so the formula says this is actually a co cosine law only so if you search for uh, this cosine law on internet you will see lot lot of examples explaining how this formula is applied on triangles there also you will uh, use the triangles okay one more thing this uh, formula the this kind of solution is called as completion of triangle because we are completing all the missing angles and sides of the triangle so this is actually called as completion of triangle and uh, uh, this is very easiest uh, part okay so the formula says c square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab cos c capital c okay so all this uh, a b c are uh, small letters these letters represent sides of the ang uh, triangle okay a b and probably c okay i mean sorry the other side is c okay so how do you apply this i'll uh, take care in a uh, uh, future video and uh, this capital c is basically the uh, angle what you are finding so there are a lot of examples you can uh, find out in uh, online and uh, learn those things so this this is it this is about uh, video on um, how to build make your uh, robotic arm autonomous okay so let's see in the future sessions how to use servo motor how it is driven and how to generate this pulse and all all those things i'll cover in future coming classes okay okay that's it thank you